We are joined by the governor of the state of Tennessee, Governor Billy. Governor, how are you? I'm great, Steve. How are you doing today? Well, we are, we're doing great, and uh, I tell you, Governor, there's just so much going on, and I, I do oh, want to talk about uh, your time in the Chattanooga area at Hickson uh, yesterday in just a moment. But first, uh, my goodness, the, the pandemic uh, has uh, reared its ugly head. It looks like once again in the volunteer state, even as school, uh, even as school begins. Yeah, it's a real challenge. It's um, this Delta variant is a huge challenge, and we are facing it every day. We're addressing it every day through our through our folks in the health department and professionals. It is it is uh, hit us again as a surge, but it's very different. We're in a different spot this time, and here's the reason: we ha we have an answer to this, and it's the vaccine. And as more and more people get vaccinated, uh, that is the tool to use to slow the pandemic. So we're encouraging people in that way to talk to their doctors, uh, to talk to their trusted voices, to make a personal decision about that vaccine. But more and more are doing that. We have we're, back, we're, we're we have doubled the number of people that are getting vaccinated per week than just a few weeks ago. And I think I think people have seen that that's the right choice for them. So we have uh, 100,000 a week or so getting a vaccination, which is which is good. But it's it's a challenge. Our health care system is challenged. Our health care workers out there, gosh, to be commended, uh, they are once again being called upon. And uh, but but we will come together and we will walk through this and we'll see the other side. We're joined by the governor of the state of Tennessee, Bill Lee, and governor yeah, here in our local community. Uh, I was uh, given some numbers here just at our uh, Tonova Hospital that there are 50 uh, COVID patients, 49 of them had not been vaccinated. They're obviously, it's obviously making a difference. And, and one thing that, that obviously some people feel makes a, a difference are masks and uh, I, I want you to comment on this. You you said, uh, I guess, in uh, press statements uh, recently, maybe the uh, last couple of days, that, quote, nothing is off the table, and that is for the state to halt local school systems' uh, mask mandates. Now, uh, yesterday, Speaker uh, Sexton uh, talking about calling on you to hold a uh, special uh, legislative session about the school systems that, that uh, do mandate masks. We know Hamilton County. Uh, did that uh, just as they start school today. They are giving a parent opt-out. What would they make of all of that as far as masks in schools? Well, I think it's important that the piece that you just said about parents having an opt-out. Uh, overall, the fundamental belief that I have is there's no one that cares as much about the health of a child as the parent of that child or the caretaker of that child. And and so parents should have a choice and an option and a say in the health decisions around their children. Uh, that being said, we, we certainly know that there are parents who believe their kids should wear a mask in the school, and they should certainly have the option to do that as well. Um, the law, as it is today in our state, gives school districts the authority to make those decisions, and, um, and the legislature has... There, one, one, one house in the legislature has uh, sent me a letter, uh, the speaker, and with uh, 75 signatures, I believe, that we just received yesterday afternoon, so we're reviewing that. There's a lot of talk about this, and uh, a lot of folks who want to find a way forward, it's an important subject, and we're, we'll, be, we'll be addressing that. I, I will say, though, at the end of the day, it goes back to... Uh, the answer lies in a vaccine, and that, that is the answer. It doesn't lie in masks. It lies in the vaccine, and I want to just encourage people and remind them of that as we continue to uh, to battle forward. We're joined by uh, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee. Governor, you were in uh, Hickson, uh, just to the south of us uh, yesterday, and well, you presented uh, several uh, Civics Seals, a program you started just a couple of years ago. Tell us about that. Yep, we started the governor civic seal when I came into office. I, I believe one of the challenges we have in this country, and there, a lot of the reason we see divisiveness and some of the toxicity that's 
raised its head in this country in the last year and that we've seen, in part is due to really a lack of awareness of, of civics and the foundation of this country and how it works and why democracy is uh, remarkable and why America is the most exceptional nation in all the globe and, and why this imperfect union is becoming more perfect every day and in spite of its flaws is the best place in the world to be and our kids if we don't teach american exceptionalism then they won't understand it and if we don't teach that we are a government of the people and that they have a responsibility to be engaged in in the civics in this country uh then they won't be engaged and we'll lose that American exceptionalism. And, and let me just say this too, especially if we in fact teach our children the wrong thing and we teach them the opposite of that and we teach them divisiveness and, uh, and, and we separate groups and we classify them differently as, as much as has been done in this critical race theory conversation. We, we have to prohibit teaching our children the wrong thing, but more importantly, teach them the right thing. And so we're rewarding schools across the state who have remarkable civics programs, and that's what we were doing yesterday in Hickson, uh, McConnell Elementary, part of the district that award, that received the award because of the number of schools that uh, that have exceptional civics programs, and and it's 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 actually being seen nationwide because Tennessee has just been recently named by the Fordham Institute as one of the top five states in America for its for its excellence in teaching civics. And so it's important. It's important to the future of America. It's important to Tennesseans. And I'm, I was very proud to be at that school yesterday and very grateful to be able to hand out that grant. It's actually a, a monetary grant that allows them to uh, supplement the, the teaching of civics. Governor, a uh, final uh, question. And uh, by the way, your friend Dolly Parton's in the news uh, uh, this morning, now mystery novelist Dolly Parton with James Patterson. Uh, what ca what can't this woman do? Oh my goodness! Uh, but she uh -oh. helped you launch the uh, the 225th anniversary of our wonderful volunteer state. How's that going? Tell me tell me about that. Yeah, she did. She's a wonderful uh, she's a wonderful person, and boy, she's the picture of and and, and what a remarkable voice for Tennessee. Just a a loving, godly, accepting, uh, iconic voice that brings people together, and and I'm proud that we become we become friends and acquaintances. Yeah, she's she helped me with the announcement of our 225 celebration. Um, the theme is called Untold Tennessee, mm -hmm. and we're traveling. Maria and I will be traveling to every county to have 225 events, Untold Tennessee events. We've got a website. Uh, Tennessee225.com, and that is where you submit your stories about the untold Tennesseans throughout history and even today that make our state the remarkable place it is. People are sending stories about their communities, why they love them, uh, why Tennessee is the best state in the country, and so we are celebrating the 16th state that was named, created by George Washington, signed a document that made us the 16th state in the country 225 years ago. And I'll tell you, we're the, we're the most remarkable state in the country. Amen. And we're celebrating that this year. Amen to that. Well, Governor, hard to believe it was a year ago when you came and opened our building, our brand new studios, and we'd love to have you back whenever you get a chance. I'm proud of what y'all do down there, and I'd love to come back in, and I'm really happy to be on the be on the show today. Call me anytime. Uh, thank you. Governor Bill Lee, the governor of the Volunteer State. Governor, thank you so much.